Hi, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm a targeted individual. A little off subject here. One of the things I enjoy in life is art. Art can be uplifting, art can be disturbing, art can change your life, can open your mind, can do a lot of things. Uh, and in Bushwick, we have a bunch of artists who post art everywhere, which I think is wonderful. And one of my favorite pieces was, was this one here. This was Ronald McDonald with some french fries for a cock. And he was, you know, handling his french fry Johnson and, and he had this look on his face like, hey, I'm the sexiest guy around. I have a picture of it and I'll upload it to Facebook or whatever. But as you can see, these people are busy defacing art. Let me say it again, defacing art. Tearing the face off of the art. Now what is it about art that makes people so upset that they have to deface it? I mean, really, think about it. It's just a picture on the wall. It's not like it's gonna jump off and bite you or anything. Unless, of course, it has more gallons, in which case you're fucked. But, nonetheless, it's merely an expression of somebody's thought. Expressed in a way that more than one person can see it, long after the person who expressed it is done expressing it. Hey. Sounds like a good deal to me. That's why art is so ex important, expensive, uh, you know. Uh, but hey, when we start getting into censorship of art, you know, like, like who, who, whose right is it to censor art? I mean, think about it. It disturbs you. You know, uh, something about the homosexual nature of it, the homoerotic nature of it? Or is it possible that children might confuse Ronald McDonald with sex? Pedophilia? I mean, what was it that disturbed this person so much that they had to take a sharp implement and spend at least 10 or 15 minutes scraping this shit off the wall so that no one else would feel the way that they felt about it? But hey, wait a minute. What about the rest of us? What about those people who don't want to feel the way you felt about it, huh? They're never even going to get to see it because it was censored by somebody who was too disturbed by it to let it be. Now, what does that say about ourselves if we're disturbed by art? This picture makes me uncomfortable. Well, if it's a graphic representation of torture, mutilated human bodies, animal parts, you know, violence, and horrible shit like that, and you're one of those people who doesn't get into that kind of stuff, then, you know, that could be offensive. Or perhaps child pornography, you know? There's laws against that, why? Well, because we're stealing the innocence from children. It's rape, but uh, that's not my point. My point is, if you like to look at pictures of naked children, hey, that's your problem. You know, society has decided that you can't look at that art. And I understand it. But hey, wait a minute. What if I drew a picture of a small child engaged in a sexual act? That's not harming anyone, is it? Would it be illegal? I guess it would. Under child pornography laws, you're not allowed to have even the representation of sex act with minor. So, there's art that people are really disturbed about. Now what if I'm only drawing a picture of graphic sexual violence? Nobody was really hurt, but that picture makes people really uncomfortable. You know, when I'm uncomfortable about something, I do a couple of things. If it's really uncomfortable, I get away. And then I look deep, deep down inside of myself to try to figure out what is it about this thing that makes me uncomfortable? Because therein lies the jewel.
a little bit of knowledge about who you are and what you really think. And once you can get past all those instant reactions, those emotional jump reactions, push, push, do, do, oh my goodness, I gotta react. No, you don't. No, you don't. Anyway, that's my rant and ramble. Uh, I'll upload a picture of the of the, the piece that was defaced because I thought it was actually rather humorous. Uh, here, here's a piece of art. Here's some art here, right? Can we see this one? I don't know if you can see it from here. City Kitty. Anyway, this phone's really hard to show you stuff with. But, you know, there's art everywhere. Nobody defaced this one. Why? Well, maybe it didn't make them uncomfortable yet. I mean. You know, here's art. Star Wars makes me uncomfortable. Maybe I should deface it so no one else can feel that way. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe feeling uncomfortable is the point of the artist. They wanted to make you uncomfortable. Think about it. And it worked. You were made so uncomfortable you had to get a sharp implement and scratch it off the wall. Man, I'll tell you something. Whoever did that, I would not want to be their kid. I can only imagine what kind of world they live in. Anyway, that's my story. See, this is art that was defaced. I don't know why. <laughs> Graffiti reasons. But, uh... I like that one. It's got all the colors of the rainbow. Anyway... That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Thanks for watching. Um, have a good day. God bless you all.